welcome back to Haunt the Collector with me, Jace, and yet another unboxing and review. Yeah, the, the, the previous two videos, um, obviously, as you can see, I'm trying to get a little bit more inventive, but my editing and camera skills are still somewhat, takes a bit to be desired. But it's all a learning curve for me, guys, so I do apologise. Please bear with me. I am trying to get better. The issue seems to be at the moment when I'm trying to do the close-ins. If I zoom in, it seems to blur. And if I have the camera closer, it seems to blur. So I've got to try and find a happy medium. So hopefully with this one, I'm going to try something different and it might work. So let's see. Let's just see. Which is why I'm putting the photographs on as well. So it gives more clarity. So let's crack on with this one anyway, guys. So this one's number three of the four I bought off Alan. As you can see, this is the Nazgul. So now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you quickly. Now I paid... I paid 60 quid for this. 60 pounds. Now this obviously is opened. I say that because on eBay I've seen that this is on for 200 pounds. Albeit new in box. Now to me, I haven't looked at this yet. But that seems incredibly overpriced. So for a piece that I believe is, is quite, quite common. I believe it is. So let's get in the box. Let's have a look at it. And we'll come back to that. But I just wanted to mention that now because I didn't want anyone to sort of jump on eBay and see that there's there's a few of these Nazgul's on. I've had a look. And they're about £200. That to me seems very heavy. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. Otherwise, I'll be here all day again. So, here we go. Okay, here we are. Let's have a look at this fella. Okay. Okay, he's big. He seems very. He seems bigger than the others. And there's good weight in him as well. <laughs> Bloody polystyrene. Eat the stuff. Righty ho. Again, no addition size on this. That's coming out. No addition size. Let's get him on here, so you can have a look. Now, as is the case with any and all Nazgul, of which I've got a couple of three now, what we're talking about here, guys, is a black cloak and armoured gloves and occasionally a sword and maybe armoured feet. So, really, realistically, are you getting that? You know, what do you say? Does this look... Good. Yes, it does. It's what you'd expect off wheat. I've got a sixth scale wheat one up there. Let me just have a look quick. So. Now, this is better because there is nothing in there. Unlike that one up there, which has got an angled piece which catches the light. The gloves look pretty bang on, what I can tell. Weathered, worn, clearly done metallic. Everything obviously on these is sculpted, guys. It's all sculpted. Yeah, going from what I was saying before, I'll do a closer in. I just want to want to remember to say this: two hundred pound, no way. This isn't two hundred pound. Not when I look at the prices I paid for those Oryx and the Witch King. No, no, no. I paid sixty pound for this in the second hand, and I would say that is. That's a good price. Maybe a little bit more, you know, because I, I, I had a bit of, did a bit of a deal because I bought multiple pieces. Maybe a little bit more, but not much more. I wouldn't want to be paying brand new in box. I certainly wouldn't be entertaining paying over much over a hundred pounds for this. So that's the only advice I can give. But yeah, for, for what I paid for it, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. What do you think? Okay, we'll have a little zoom in. Let's see if I can get this so it focuses in properly. Let's have a look.
so there we go guys that's it for this unboxing and review really it's again an as it's not a great deal you can say really is there you know they are they are what they are pretty basic pieces regardless um let me know what you think in the comments guys i've got one more to do from alan's batch and then i've got another one which is again is on the way but I don't know when that one will be getting here, but I think it will be the one I've got coming is is certainly the I think will be one of the best out of the out of the ones I've had. So thanks as ever guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Appreciate all the comments and the feedback I get from you all. Please the normal YouTube you know spool now. Can you please comment, like, share? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I've got I say another one to do. And so that video will be coming out again in a day or two after this one. And as ever, guys, thank you ever so much. I'm sorry that these reviews and unboxings are a little bit shaky and wobbly. I, I'm uh, I'm finding it harder than I thought. I was a little bit ignorant as to that they're not easy. They're not easy to do because you've got so much stuff to think of and then work for your head. But I'm hoping that as I do each one, I'm, I'm learning a little bit more and a little bit more as I go along. And... Um, I'm consciously aware as I'm doing them that I, I need to be getting the camera angles better and I'm thinking how I'm going to edit it. So, but we'll get there. We'll get there. It's still early days yet. Yeah. So thank you for tolerating my naivety and inexperience in these. But I do appreciate the fact that so many of you are constantly commenting and sending words of support. I really appreciate it. So the one more to go let's and hopefully they're getting better so please let me know in the comments guys i'm waffling again as i always do so i'm gonna go take care enjoy your week and i'll see you in the next video try a bit all oh.